Hey, I'm at a point where I pretty much never even want to consider ordering a Ford product again. Um, I think the only Ford I'm ever going to have is I have a 1956 custom line resto mod. I think it's about the last Ford that's ever going to end up in my garage. But I got an update in <clears throat> October. I just never got around to doing it. And then I got another update from them last night. So I was like, let me get this done. A bunch of you were following along on this journey. I ordered a 2022 F-250 King Ranch Tremor uh, diesel back in September of last year. So we're on, whatever, 15-ish months, something like that. And no updates, no updates, bugging the guy, bugging the guy, no updates. And, in, you know, 12 months, and I'm like, you know what, man, just, just cancel the goddamn thing. And he's like, oh, you know, do this, do that, drop these options, and then it might get done faster. I drop all these options, which was, man, one of the point I wanted his truck was those options, but I'm like, screw it, drop them. Still nothing. And I'm like, I, I'm like you know what, piss off. I, I found a slightly used 2022 GMC 2500 Denali diesel. I just bought the damn thing because I needed a truck. And, uh, you know, come October, I get a message saying, hey... Your truck's filing going into production. Do you still want it? And I'm like, why would I want a 2022 that's not even built yet, and it's October 2022? I'm like, look, if you want to heavily discount it, I'm listening. And then no response from the guy. And then a couple of days go by, and we're going back and forth. I'm like, look, dude, it's October now. You're saying it just got a build slot. It doesn't have all the options I want. I'm going to question the quality of it because the supply chain shortages is in worker shortages. If we're lucky, we're not going to see this truck till the end of November, early December, because A, it's not built, and then it's still got to get transported. And I'm thinking, I don't want to buy the last 2022 made, and on top of it, pay full price. That is just goddamn stupid if you know anything about car valuations. And I know pickup trucks are still in demand and blah, 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 but if you look at how they're talking about 2023 and, you know, inflation and recession, like, I just, I don't know about that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a $90,000 truck sitting there that is already a year old. So I'm like, look, dude, if you want a discount on it, I'm listening. If not, put it on the lot and sell it. You know, that's, again, piss off. It just makes no sense to, you know, most of the time you go on a lot right now and you're looking at 2022s, knowing that we're a month away from 23s and you're looking for a deal. It's just, you know, I'm at a point now where I'm thinking about I can get an order in for a 2024 GMC. I'm not paying full sticker or whatever. You know, I don't get no crazy Ford deal. Um, on a truck that's basically a year old in the eyes of the market. But, you know, this whole experience has been terrible. No updates from Ford. No updates from the dealer. You keep pinging the dealer trying to get something. They don't know anything. It's like 15 months to get a truck is just insane. And all my experiences with Ford, trying to get a Raptor and their bullshit um, $25,000 markup, trying to get um, GT500, you know, $25,000 markup. It's like every time I get near a Ford dealer or a product, something goes wrong. BS markups or 15 plus months to order a truck. This is just stupid. Like I just, I'm so turned off by Ford that I just have no interest in your products anymore. And then I heard, um, you know, you see the V8 Raptor and all that talk. It's like finally they brought it back. And I'm thinking that old CEO made such a mistake putting that six in the Raptor. And I heard one going down the street. And I'm thinking, like, man, I'm so happy I didn't buy one because it sounded like a fart can. I'm thinking, this is a $100,000 truck, or with a markup, someone probably paid 125000 for that. And Ford couldn't give you a V8? And I get it, turbos, horsepower, blah, blah, I get all that. But, like, just expectations when you start spending a hundred or a buck twenty-five on something. And, man, I look at all these missteps that Ford has taken, and they just continue to do so with their dealer network, their delivery of their, their ah, I can't speak today. Delivery of their trucks, their communication. Like I'm just I'm not a fan of these guys right now. If you look at the comments on my old post, so many people dealing with the pain 
of trying to get a goddamn truck, trying to get an update, trying to get some information, waiting 8, 10, 12, 15 or more months. This is just crazy to me. Um, so yeah, I have no, uh, no intentions of ever walking down a Ford lot for a long time. I don't know what your experience has been. Maybe you've only had one bad experience. It's every, every time I just think forward, something bad happens. I just, I'm done. So anyways, my truck did hit the lot this week and I'm sure someone's going to buy it. It's a fully specced out King Ranch trimmer. And uh, I can't even say fully specced out. They had to take some of the options off, but I'm sure the dealer's going to move it. I just feel bad for the person that's probably going to go pay full price for that thing right now. And, uh, you know, and we got three weeks and it's going to be 2023. I just, no thanks, Ford. I'm good.